Good morning, everybody. It's Sheila from Boho Daydreams. Welcome to my channel. I'm hoping that my phone is going to um, behave a bit better than it did yesterday because it wasn't focusing properly, and so I didn't get a lot videoed yesterday. Um, so we're here with another set of envelopes for the envelope challenge, participation challenge that I hosted here in Boho Daydreams. And the details um, to the closure and the drawings, etc., will be in the description box. Now, I was halfway through the set of envelopes when my focus stopped wanting to focus. So um, it doesn't look quite as neat as when I took it out of the package because, well, I never can actually tie them back up as pretty as what they come to me. The sun's shining. Thank you, Bob. It's actually very, very, very clear. I see the mountains with just a little bit of snow left on the caps. Oh, it's the makings of a beautiful day. All right, so we're going to open this up. These envelopes are from Pam Holderness. And Pam is Gypsy Girl Crafts by Pamela on, on YouTube. So first we have this beautiful envelope that she has created herself and stitched. And it's sealed with either Mod Podge or, I don't know, some other medium that gives it like that waterproof type feel to it. And this is Pamela. She's Gypsy Girl Crafts by Pamela on YouTube. And I have loved Gypsy Girl for a very long time. Long, long time I've been watching Pamela. I love her channel. She's so awesome. All right, so it's a little note inside. And we've got some decoupage napkins. Look how pretty that is. Those are beautiful napkins. So far, so good with the camera. And it says, the world is your oyster. Look at the beautiful collage. Just a lot of different laces. And it is so pretty with that button. That's got to be one of my favorite colors for buttons. All right. It says, hello, my boho friend. Thank you for the fun challenge. I had a blast creating my gypsy envelopes just for you. Enjoy all your fabulous entries. Hugs, Gypsy Girl. And I'm very surprised that Gypsy Girl um, had enough time to actually enter the challenge giveaway because Pamela works 16 hours a day, day in, day out. Um, her job is very demanding and it keeps her so busy. So I'm, I'm so surprised, but very happy. Thank you. And look at this lace. Oh, I've already opened this and loved this lace already once or twice. <laughs> it's so pretty. Oh, I can't believe you sent it to me. Let's see here. This should be like this. Now you just, just enjoy that whole stack of envelopes. Oh, look at this beautiful lace. This is so old. Look at how delicate that is. And it's such a nice, large piece. I can use this and use it uh, several times. It was so much. Thank you so much. All right. So the first little envelope has the beautiful tassel lace trim. Several layers um, of textile there. And this little crown has been embossed with um, powder embossing. And then the jewels have em been embossed, it looks like, in another um, color. Look at the flowers. The flowers, oh, they're so pretty. The laces and the applique underneath and the little flower, all of them have been stitched in special stitching and gilded with gold around the edges. And these are Pam's own papers. So she has created her own envelopes with her own stained papers. And look at the pattern on that. That's Great. And then there's a little bead, a little bead charm here at the bottom. You can see that. That's so pretty. And then on the back, 
it's another one of those little flowers. Oh, look how pretty she is. She's been glittered up a bit. And she's got a beautiful necklace and gold crown that's been um, done by Pam. And then the fringe on the side has been glittered up as well. And backed with her own paper. Look how pretty that pattern is. And I don't think you can see this, but there's actually some shimmer on these envelopes. So they must have been sprayed with a glitter, glitter mist. Look at this. Look at the bottom of it. It's got that tassely lace, and then it's got a beaded trim. Just perfect. Beautiful little sequined sorry piece and her own paper again and she stamped it look at the look at the staining on it how oh that's so pretty that's a technique i i, I do not understand yet <laughs> i've got the tea dyeing and coffee dyeing paper down pretty good oh, beautiful green flower and green is Pam's favorite color. Gypsy Girl loves green. So when I make her bundles up for her, her textile bundles, I always will add extra green pieces because I know it's her favorite color. Live every moment, laugh every day, and love beyond words. Now this, I've, I've looked at this piece a couple of times because this is a second or third retake. Um, but this cord or this thread, piece of thread, has been stitched on with blue thread. So I have no idea. I'm not very good with a sewing machine yet. I mean, I know how to use my sewing machine. I've sewed a lot. I quilted. Things like that, made dolls, made stuffed animals, but I never, I never sewed threads on. So that looks so delicate and dainty to me. That's impressive to me. this pretty girl. She's so pretty. This is a postcard. It actually has a stamp. It has a stamp, but it must be a, a copy of it because I don't feel any texture, but look how beautiful she is. All the extra glitter on it and this beautiful, oh, this is so soft. Look at that. Look at that fiber like fibers and must be a wool. It's so soft. And again, her beautiful paper and a little stamping. She's also just touched it up a bit with some ink. Like this. Look at all the lushness on the bottom. It's like lace on lace on lace. So there's three levels of lace and then the beautiful bling on her own paper that she's dyed. Lots of stitching again. And look at this flower. Oh, I love purple. Pink has always been my favorite color, but when it comes to journaling, I think aqua and purple and cream. Those ones. Oh, I just love them. But in the boho world, I love all the colors because I love, I love colorful, colorful, colorful. But if I had to choose colors... Look at that. Iridescent purple beading. Oh, so pretty. With a bit of lace and a beautiful flower. Oh, and I missed this. And a bit of a, a, a dangle on a bulb pin. Beautiful tassel. It's like iridescent. And here you can see the same 
the, the lace that was used in previous must have been colored. Pam must have colored the lace too to coordinate because it, it looks a little variegated. But what a pretty color. It is such a light lavender and all the stitching that was involved. So my camera's holding up actually very well today. I don't know what its problem was yesterday. Oh, so pretty. Oh, and there's texture on that, so this has been a bit raised up. It's a little, um, little puffy. Look at all that. Look at all the details there. Oh, the beauty. I'm so grateful for everybody who has participated. Um, it's been a, an amazing experience for me. It's been such a wonderful experience. Anyone who's ever kind of wondered if they should do a participation giveaway, I just would say do. You will be so blessed. You will be so humbled. You will be so honored um, by the love that you receive that you will just, you'll be a different person. And I know I'm, I'm saying that and you don't really know me, but you probably know me a little better now with all these videos. And sincerely, I am so humbled um, by your generosity. I feel that, you know, I've added the, the two extra gifts and they're, they're beautiful. They are so beautiful. And they're going to be more beautiful than what you saw when I just showed them to you yesterday. Because I'm going to make them worth the effort that each crafter took to, um, to join. I just want to thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Thank you, Pamela. Thank you. She is... Gypsy Girl Crafts by Pamela. Go take a look at her channel. You will just love her.